When you hear the word facial, naturally you think about a person massaging a woman's face with cucumbers covering her eyes. But in all honesty, everyone needs a facial to relax and rejuvenate from everyday stress. And so I would recommend all men around us to get facials done from time to time. However, if you have acne prone skin, you need to be extra careful while choosing the products and techniques for your facial. It should not aggravate the skin but reduce the redness and inflammation. Do watch this video till the end. Before discussing these facials, you must also keep certain do's and don'ts in mind while taking care of your skin. Do's Study your skin type. Each facial technique is specific to a skin type and skin problem. You need to understand your skin type before trying out any facial technique or product. Consult a dermatologist. I have mentioned this before and I will mention it now. Do not try complex procedures without consulting an expert. To be on the safer side, get a second opinion before you book a session. Don'ts. Don't overdo facials. While facials are useful, getting them frequently will affect the moisture barrier of your skin and remove all the essential nutrients. Your skin will end up looking dry and rough which you do not want. Don't forget consistency. Your skin needs to get used to a facial. You may not see a significant change after the first session, so maintain consistency in a treatment to get promising results. So now let's start with the facials. Number 1. The classic. A standard facial process will consist of techniques like steaming, using an exfoliating scrub, massaging and applying a mask. You can also use a toner or moisturizer in the end. You may find this process tedious and long but the end result will be supple, glowing skin with reduced inflammation. If you have whiteheads or blackheads, this technique will be useful for you. But make sure not to overdo this process. I recommend you to use this technique once a week or once in 15 days. Number 2. Decongesting. As the name suggests, this technique decongests your skin by unblocking all the blocked pores. An expert will probably use his or her hands or an extractor tool for this facial. While this technique is useful for removing blackheads and whiteheads, it does not solve the root cause of your acne. So if you have cystic acne, you may want to use another technique along with decongesting to reduce the acne. Number 3. LED. Classic and decongesting processes only tackle superficial aspects like blackheads. So which technique will help you reduce inflammation due to cystic acne or pimples? Introducing the LED facial technique. In this process, your skin will first be cleansed by the expert before treating it with an LED machine. Three types of light will be emitted. White, red and blue. The white beam will go the deepest and treat your skin tone. The red beam will encourage the production of collagen and blue light will kill all the acne bacteria. So this technique will fight the active acne and inflammation surrounding it. Number 4. Brightening. If you have acne prone skin, you may be suffering from scars or discoloration. The brightening technique is often used to treat these issues rather than the acne itself. Brightening facials usually contain vitamin C enriched marks, acid peels and serums. The technique tends to reduce any discoloration from the skin and provide a smoother texture. While the technique is slightly expensive, one to two sessions a month are worth the cost. While all these techniques are useful to reduce acne, they aren't the perfect cure. Do tell me which technique worked out for you and if you've tried doing a facial before. Thank you.